A special welcome to all of you. I have another tutorial. A very special pocket which is very very nice to put on any very elegant sacco, ladies jacket, evening wear or wherever you like to have an elegant pocket stitched onto. It's as we say blind stitched on. So what does this pocket look like? This is a blind stitched on pocket. Blind for the reason that you do not see any seam anywhere on the outside. On the inside, yes, of course, you do have a seam there, but not on the outside. So this is a very elegant way of making a pocket and I show you now how you can do this just as well. To do this blind stitched on pocket, you will first of all have to make a very good pattern. Make the pattern exactly the size that your pocket will be when you're finished with it. That means choose a curve around that you would like to have the height, the width. It doesn't matter. Of course, the bigger the pocket is, the easier it is to make. The smaller, the little bit more difficult. So. You can think about it if you've never done it before. Make it at least this size. I'm just going to measure it for you. Um, I got this 17.5 wide and I got it 17.5 high. So this is actually supposed to be the finished pocket. But this is quite a good size to make for even for a starter now if you've never done it before. After you've got your shape and your size, put yourself some marks in. First of all, I've got my German sign here for the front. We say vorne, which is a, a V. You say front on the pocket, which would be an F, sorry. So, first of all, mark yourself where you will have the front and the back of the pocket. Then, make yourself all the way around some marks. It doesn't matter where you put them. But I always put in the front for myself because I usually don't write this on. I make two marks, then I always know that is the front of my pocket and not the back, not towards the side seam. Now those also, it doesn't matter if you put two, three or four there, that is all up to you. But important is that you got at least three better four in the round that you have here. They don't have to be exact the same because we know this is my front so that means I will make a pair out of out of it anyway. Uh, so make three or four marks into the rounds and at least one or two in the bottom. Where that is it doesn't matter. However you want. Then you must cut from the material the piece you like to make. So cut it all the way around, approximately five to six millimeters larger, and on the top make it so much bigger like you would like to make a seam on the top here. I cut this three and a half now because I'm going to fold it over one centimeter and then two and a half. This will be my top. I made two little marks exactly where I'm turning it over there. And now, for you, it is nice and easier if you make a line all the way around the way the finished pocket will be at the end. Then take a pen and mark it towards your seam there, all the little marks that you've made. Now, take the piece of material, your front, where the pocket might be, and now you got to consider, is this the front of your jacket, of your coat? Then this front will go on like that, because that will be the finished pocket. That means, I can put this pocket there right away. First of all, I need two marks in the position where the pocket on the height exactly will be. How much away from the front middle, how much away from the side and how high on the particular coat you like to make it. Now you take a pen and you do not mark it here. 
because when we're stitching this we wouldn't see it. So that's why I got these little cuts in there and now mark about five six millimeters exactly actually the widths you cut onto the pocket mark it inside those little marks all the all of them that you prepared to do and that is all that's necessary for this pocket to do which is without a lining later on i will do another video where there will be a lining inside but this is for material that as an example a wool material where your edges don't come off and here again you can see now that is the way it will fit exactly on. So now all we have to do is go to the sewing machine and stitch it on and I'll show you how to do that. Before you can stitch this pocket on just do your top first depending on how wide you did the cutting for it that you will stitch this down. As I mentioned to you before I folded it over first one centimeters and now that is two and a half. When you've done that you can steam it first if you wish I will do that afterwards and then you take your front where you want to put your pocket on. Now make sure if you do have a pair that you look for your marks that they fit there. As you can see this side if you would have had uh, the other one that wouldn't fit because that's got to go over there on the other side. So what you do is as we put those marks five six millimeters inwards exactly the widths as the actual um, seam is that you allowed which you cut there you put it onto these first points there exactly and now let it fall over towards the top where you mark is where you want to start sewing. So you just start there and now right away look always for your marks that they will be exactly on top of each other. And you stitching now exactly in case if you haven't marked it but I suggest if you're not so firm with doing this to mark first your your finished pattern onto here so you can see exactly where you got to stitch along. It, it can't be any easier than that then. So you continue going down here. Now that's a, that was a really easy part so far because you stitched so uh, actually only a straight line down. But now you got to slowly start going around the curve. That means already here, although it's still a bit straight, I already hold a little bit of bits into there to make sure I get my marks fitting all the time because you see here it would run away if I wouldn't start turning this that way and turning this towards it. So it's got to get a real nice round curve that you're stitching there. Make sure whenever you lift the foot that your needle is stuck in the material and while you turn this like that you see your marks automatically will join together again but you got to take your time really do it stitch by stitch and automatically you see the next one is there and it comes together it fits exactly as you want to have it there's my next ones already and they all join. Now it gets tighter and tighter. That's why you're actually stitching inside the pocket. So I got to, again I'm on the second curve. I got to start pulling this and pushing it underneath my needle to get a nice round down there. Stitch by stitch. One by one. And always have my needle inside the material when I'm turning, when I continue, when I lift the foot. And now we're coming to the straight part, coming up already. I know this is not so easy to see for you now, but this is because I'm totally sewing inside my pocket here now. Now we're on the straight line and I got to look for my next um, points there. That's why I said earlier on, it doesn't matter how many you put there. 
the more the better if you're really a learner. And here I cannot put it like that. That would uh, go out of portion, um, out of form then. I got to lie it over because that was my point exactly where the pocket will start. And that is it already. I'm at the end. I'm taking this out now. And I look at this and I'm checking, do I have a real nice curve done here? How does that look? Is it the way I want it? Yes, that is the way I want it. And I can check the same thing on the left side because now you can see this is supposed to look round. If you got edges and edges and corners and corners in here, this will not fall round nicely on the proper side. Oh, there was something lying underneath, a piece of material um, while I was stitching. That doesn't matter. But now what you also got to do is just um, fasten these corners. So push this in very well, this corner there. You can do a triangle stitch totally or you can just start on the top there. Go towards the seam that you got there and do the same on the other side. Start in that corner there where your seam is. Push that part in nicely or cut it off if, it's, if you think it is in your way. And just stitch up there. And that is your pocket. Totally finished and this looks lovely on a chance sacco or on a very elegant ladies jacket on a club jacket anywhere this always looks so nice it's got to be slightly steamed now and then it will look just perfect well i hope i gave you a nice idea for a different packet that you maybe have not made yet at all and very soon i promise i will do another video with the same kind of pocket but with a lining inside it's slightly different but uh, not more difficult than this one either. I wish you a good day, have fun, and do some good sewing. Bye for now.